What's up guys? So in today's video we're going to be talking about the MKBHD plugin from Motion VFX. This just came out like last week. So once you install it, if you look to the left here, under show or hide titles and generators, you'll see MKBHD. In this tutorial we're going to look at the zoom features that Marquez is known for. I've got a video from another channel that I do called Merch On. I'll link it below if you want to learn how to do print on demand, how to make money online. Uh, we're going to look at the constant zoom and these just the normal zoom in. I'll just option drag and I'll duplicate this. As you can see, this particular video is just a straight talking head and there's no like movement so in order to keep the audience engaged you want to add a little bit of zoom in at times especially if you're trying to say something in, you know specific so let's look at the just the normal zoom in from Marquez so you can see it'll zoom in and then zoom back out and you can adjust the timing of the zoom in so if we click on this we could come up to the right side here under the text option you'll see animation in animation out you have regular instant quick smooth let's just take a look at those pull this back some so this is at regular so let's take a look at the instant so that would be like just a jump cut let's see what quick you get. So you can see that it's pretty quick there. Let's see. Regular. So you've seen that. I think it's more of a slow zoom in. And then it zooms back out smooth. It's a little bit slower. Let's see if we stretch it out what it does. Now if we select this and we come over here, if you hover over the circle, so if I grab this, you could scale this in and out. You could do it there or you could come over here and zoom in, you know, manually right here. I think this is probably the better way. If you wanted to zoom into a particular spot, you can move this guy here. Plus it's zooming in to where the hairs are. Now if you need to Come over here, you could turn on the horizon. Let's just turn that off for now. So let's look at it. We can shorten this up. This is much easier than having to manually do keyframes. Let's take a look at the other one called constant zoom, which is like a continual zoom at a slower rate. So let's just let's turn the clip off or turn that off and we'll watch it. So you can see there's not that much movement there. We turn this on. You can see it's gradually zooming in at a slower pace. But if we select this, we can put it where we want to zoom in to. So we zoom in strength.
The only thing I'd like to see maybe added to this is the feature that's like with the zoom in. Either they could add the constant feature to here, like where it slowly zooms in. That way you could set the parameters. Because on this one, you can't really set the parameter, only the position. It'd be cool if they had that zoom in feature up here instead of having to go over here to do this. It'd be neat if you could do it here. And also having maybe that a keyframe here with the zoom strength or the content scale, I guess you could say. But I guess if you're doing something like this, you're probably just going to back off anyways, like instantly. But just for more options to be able to like zoom back out kind of like a reverse um, but other than that it's pretty good I'll show you an example of another plugin from a company called Ripple Training just for comparison so you come over here punch HD you could adjust this here duration I will say motion VFX their ability to scale much better you know with a circle tool but this is still doable and you can adjust it around which I don't know if you could do that on this one you could do it in a way similar I guess what's nice about theirs is it doesn't go out of screen or out of frame Because Ripple Training, theirs will, like if I move this, it'll go past this image to, if you've enjoyed this video, please take a second and subscribe below, and if you would like to pick up the MKVHD uh, plug-in pack, I'll drop a link in the description below. Till next time, thank you for watching.